This one is very shocking. The New King James Version actually tells its readers to reject Jesus Christ and goes on to call him warped, sinning, and self-condemned. Let me show you the proof. Titus chapter 3, verses 10 through 11. In the New King James Version, it says, Reject a divisive man after the first and second admonition, knowing that such a person is warped and sinning, being self-condemned. All right, a divisive man you are supposed to reject. Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Do you suppose that I came to give peace on earth? I tell you, not at all, but rather division. Jesus speaking there in that passage. He just said he came to bring division. Back here in Titus 3, verse 10, reject a div divisive man. Huh. John chapter 7, verse 43. So there was a division among the people because of him speaking about Jesus. Gets condemned again there. There's your second admonition, I guess. And again, John chapter 9, verse 16. Therefore, some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. Others said, how can a man who is a sinner do such signs? And look at this. And there was a division among them. Jesus calls division again. Titus 3 verse 10 says to reject him according to the New King James Version. John chapter 10 verse 19. Therefore there was a division again among the Jews because of these sayings. So four places in the New Testament, it says that Jesus calls division in the New King James Version. And Titus 3 verse 10 says, Reject a divisive man. They're telling you to reject Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is warped and sinning being self-condemned according to their own text. What does the King James Bible say? Titus chapter 3 verse 10. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that, that he that is such is subverted and sinneth being condemned of himself. Was Jesus Christ a heretic? No, Jesus Christ was not a heretic. He didn't say anything at all that was heretical or heresy or, or whatever. He's God manifest in the flesh. Um, truth personified. So the King James Bible had no problem there. Um, Jesus caused division. And if you go to those passages in Luke and John, uh, you'll see that Jesus caused division in the King James Bible as well. Truth divides people. Uh, but is that, again, do we have a, very hard, impossible to understand word there in the King James Bible. Heretic? I don't think that's hard to understand. So why would the New King James Version translators change heretic to a divisive man? Hmm. Um, not very deep students of the Bible. All right. Uh, or there could be another agenda there to attack Jesus Christ. Uh, either way, I wouldn't use a New King James Version. Um, I think that that's got uh, some satanic undertones to it.